Welcome back. So first up, these are those brackets that uh, Jeremy created for the rudder cable ends. So now they've been sort of cleaned up and shaped a little bit and the holes drilled in there and also been tapped and a little bit of super glue in there um, and then re-tapped again just to reinforce the threads. And this is inside the cabin now. So this is uh, where the hard points for the seatbelt mounts were put in last time. As you can see, the guys have put a layup over the top of that, just uh, one ply just to sort of close those out and some pure ply over the top of that so that's ready to be uh, peeled back off and up front the same thing going on there um, just one lay up over the um, hard points there for the elevator um, elevator torque tube where those brackets were put in last time and here Jeff's getting ready to close out the rudders so that hard point that he put in there last time has been uh, trimmed off and finished off in the little hole in there for where uh, the rod will connect to has been um, put in as well although I think he had that in there before he actually bonded the hard points in and that was just this is just a last look at the inside of the rudder before the two um, pieces get bonded together and there's the other side there and this is mainly for us later on so we can just see exactly what's in there if we ever have to wonder about how it was constructed again at some point in the future and I was up at Brits again on Thursday, took a bunch of stuff up there for him to um, weld together and while I was there uh, using the lathe again and this time some aluminum rod just to drill out the ends there so we can uh, tap it and create uh, connecting rods for the actuators for the door locks. And uh, here's the stuff that Brits has been working on, he's got some of it tacked up and then he's just messing around here making a funny face or something with the, with the bits that were left over. So. I guess he was in a good mood. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure what he's trying to make. I think it's a face there. <laughs> so um, anyway, so things are moving along with that. And then these are the rods um, that I finished off there. So I had quite a few. There was about uh, 32 uh, holes that I had to drill, uh, 16 rods all together. And when I got back, Jeff had bonded together the uh, rudders. So and he's put some bits of 2 by 4 steel there on top just to keep them all um, pushed down and clamped into place while the high sole sets up and there's the other one there so as you can see things are moving along now with um, flight control surfaces getting bonded in and bonded together and meanwhile uh, Zach and Jeremy got the other side done for the pressure bulkhead there um, getting all those um, compression sleeves all uh, bonded in there with some resin and fiberglass mix and there's the one on the other side that was done the previous day and I got to run the engine just real quick I just wanted to see it was running well after putting that new um, that new scavenger thing into the exhaust and just did a quick run and uh, actually it was um, having I was having a problem with it in the engine was running a little rough and I couldn't figure out exactly what so I just sort of let it sit there it was just idling rough um, anyway I figured it out later on the next day it turns out that just the connector for um, the injector number three wasn't pushed all the way in and so it wasn't firing so that's all sorted out now and meanwhile I've got Jim working on uh, putting together all the pin locks here and it's a little bit tedious like everything else with these doors right now and that's why we're changing them out but uh, in order to get everything operating really smoothly in there you have to put these things together carefully and make sure that there's no friction in any part of it otherwise it just sort of you know I wouldn't say jams up but it just means there's friction and uh, meanwhile there's Jeremy he's tapping um, those rods that I drilled up at um, Brits and some other ones that we had that didn't need to be drilled that just were hollow and here's uh, back in the cabin now so this is those uh, hard points for the seat belts and now the peel ply is taken off and you can see the layup there nice and neat and just need to um, sort of expose those holes there in the uh, aluminum hard point and there's the back panel there now with the uh, little jig removed so just a little bit of sanding on there and that's done and this is up front there after um, the layups were done there over those hard points for the elevator torque to mounting brackets or mounting places so again the, the uh, little holes there in the hard points just need to be exposed um, and here's Jeff putting the same sort of hard point into the one of the ailerons for the actuator where the actuator will actually you know connect to the aileron in order to make it go up and down so he's just in the process of putting the peel ply on that one and uh, 
Devon here is doing basically the same thing on the other one. So they're getting close to being ready to close out. There's a few other things we have to do on those. They're not quite as simple as uh, the rudders. So, And here is Zach putting in a little layup over the last of the little studs that were put in there the other day that support the rudder pedals. So I'm just on a single ply over that. And over on the door frames, I re-exposed those little slots there that I'd put in before. Um, the guys did the last layup over the top that allow the actuators for the door locks to come through. So those are pretty much done now. So the next step is to start um, installing some of the door locks um, and then getting the connecting rods hooked up to the actuators and making sure that whole system works as intended. And speaking of the door locks, here's the ones, or at least the pin ones, that are being completed now. Just got them in, in a box there, and there's still the other ones are being assembled. Um, just And as I was saying, to make sure that they're nice and operating smoothly. So this one is fairly smooth, but we just need to do a little bit more work on that. I don't want to have any friction in there, so, um, you know, when the whole system operates, it's uh, very smooth by, you know, just one handle um, actuating all these locks is a lot to ask, so it has to be nice and smooth. And speaking of smooth, Jeff has gone and uh, sanded that uh, transition there from the lip on the inside there of the uh, of the inlet scoop. So that one's pretty much done now. And uh, Zach finished the layup there over those studs. So not too much more to go on in the fuselage now uh, before we can post cure it. I've got a short list of things in the office on the board, so it won't be too long. And uh, here's some of those rods that Jeremy was tapping out. So now he's got the rod ends. Uh, put in there and he's um, just done one end there with some Loctite so the threads don't uh, the, the thread rod or threaded rod doesn't come out and you've got to finish the rest of those off and then we can start um, you know installing them onto the door with the door locks and there's the rest of all the rod ends that we have so a lot of, a lot of complexity in these doors and that's why we're changing them out but you know ultimately we've just got to get this one done and speaking of getting stuff done, here's Jeff holding up the two rudders. So they have now been bonded together, as you can see. And all they need to do is have the hinges bolted on there, and they're ready to go on the wings when the wings are done. So that's exciting to have the first uh, control surfaces closed out. So anyway, that's our update for this week. I'll be probably in the shop over the weekend and uh, running the engine again some more, get a few more hours on it if the weather cooperates. And, uh, and then we'll see what we have for next week. But uh, things are moving along pretty quickly now. We've got all the guys in the shop, so I'm pretty happy about that. Anyway, that's our update. I hope you enjoyed it, and tune in again next week. Thanks.